Hey, hi there Pisces. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your monthly reading. March 2019 for Money and Finance. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot. And it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Pisces. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards. Just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Page of Pentacles, Pisces. This is Earth energy. It could be a young person or a young energy. Something new and just beginning. This could be a, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. It represents fascination and introspection. There's communication of stability. This person's attitude suggests he desires money. He's goal-oriented, could be bringing you good news. This is about worldly ambitions or a message about money coming in. This could be a student because they do have respect for learning. This person moves slowly because they're absorbed. They're practical and cautious. This could be a new job or a new project, or a new investment, even new studies. If this is a person, they're youthful and dependable, and they're practical, and they're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. This is a loyal friend, and they give good advice. They may seem solemn and scholarly, but this is someone that's willing to work hard to learn about what interests them so very much. Pages can be children, or the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. This is love of material things. It's a good card to start a new business. It's an opportunity to make money, starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. This is a trigger point. Being productive. Could be finding something. This person wants to know the nature of things and how they work. But this is an unexpected new start. In your second card, and this is the energies crossing over your path. The Ace of Wands, Pisces. This is fire energy. A new beginning. Wands, they... They're also called rods and clubs, and fire energy represents action. It's in constant renewal. That's what the green leaves represent. This is natural growth, has to do with creation and ideas, animation. This is pure creativity. It's in being inspired. This can also represent conception and birth. This is a new beginning of enterprise in business or arts and finance. This also represents high passion in relationships. You should be open for the new. It's a way out of hard times. This is ignition, the spark of inspiration. It's a gift from life. It's a very positive new beginning and new opportunities. Aces are seeds to be nurtured. This is a bright new idea, a burst of creative energy, a source of inspiration. This is bringing excitement and enthusiasm and lots of energy for something new. So be courageous. This is new life both literally and metaphorically. This is a new opportunity that needs to be grasped in order to come to fruition. There's so much great potential for success. 
you might have started something new, or you're working on an old project that will finally bear fruit. This is a call to do something actively, or let something happen, and you will find the answer in the doing. So seize the day. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. This is great for a reading about finance. This is Earth Energy. It has to do with your home and inheritance. This is a legacy and ancestors. This is a solid and secure life. It's monetary gain and increased stability. It can stand for your house or your dwelling. It's security and material comfort. It has to do with wealth and social standing. This has to do with permanence, wisdom, and physical security. This is a successful financial venture. Or it could be an inheritance that will provide for you and those around you concerned can also be a very special partnership. But this is a card of traditions. It can be a celebration with your family. If you have a question as to how things should be done, think back to the way your elders would have solved a problem. This is long-term stability, symbolizing financial stability and firm foundations for your home and your family life. This can also suggest that a property is going to be acquired. It, can, it tells us about traditions being passed down in the family. It's a materially settled way of life indicated. And it's going to be the buying of a property in favorable circumstances. You may have reached an envisioned goal and there has to have had to have been discipline to get there. And now your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Four of Wands, Pisces, a beautiful card to have. This is fire energy. This has to do with celebration and results. This is a completion of a stage. It's having good times. You could be celebrating a marriage or a a new romance. This is, has to do with harvest in your home, taking time to pause and relax. You'll be reaping rewards and enjoying life. This card is extremely positive. This indicates something new soon coming, a happy time, success, being happy and productive. This is celebration and reward after labor. And now there's going to be a pause in your activities and a tranquil time of rest. It could be a holiday coming, a time of relaxation, could be pur pur purchasing a new home. This is a foundation for creativity and it tells of coming prosperity and rejoicing. You're going to be happy and triumphant and feel liberated and sociable. What you'll be doing is reaching a milestone and celebrating, graduating, marrying, enjoying festivities and reaping rewards. Could have been because of teamwork and now there's gratitude. You'll be celebrating your accomplishments. So take time to honor your hard work. And now your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Ten of Swords, Pisces, this is air energy. It's also the second ten in your reading, which represents change. Swords has to do with our thoughts and the mind. And this card is telling us of the end of a period of trials and hardships. Backstabbing gossip ends, and a new cycle begins. This is a need to stop worrying, 
you may have felt like you hit rock bottom. So make a clean break from the past hurtful pain. This closure now. You may have felt like you've given up. It's enough. It's as bad as it could have possibly have gotten. And now there's nowhere else to go but up. You may have felt like you've been a victim. You may have felt like you've made huge sacrifices for others and yet have re received nothing in return. So pick yourself up and get on with life. This is a lesson learned and no making the same mistakes twice. You see, the dawn breaks over the horizon. It's the end of something, a relationship, a circumstance, or even a false way of seeing a situation. It rings of truth and clarity of vision, which brings about the inevitable death. And the dawn breaking gives promise of rebirth and clearing the ground for something new. See, swords represents the destructive mind. It's weapons of intellect. So be careful about drawing conclusions too quickly because you will achieve most with peace of mind and presence of mind. This may be the end of a painful separation or an illness, but you'll soon be able to see a situation realistically and move forward. And now your advice from the Oracle Deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. This is first light and beginning a new cycle. Very synchronistic with this layout. A new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wipe the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. The Sacred Traveler wants you to know the Traveler faces east toward the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle have begun. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown, yet the Sacred Traveler has observed on the extended journey that life goes in a cycle. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn so that there can be new birth in the spring. The sun rises and the sun sets. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There's a time to end and a time to begin. In your life, it's the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. Here's your take note moment. The law of attraction is like a copy machine. It gives back to you what you are thinking and feeling. When things come to us we do not want, then it is certain that most of the time you are not aware of the thoughts and feelings you are having. So we need to become aware of our feelings so when we are not feeling good, we can stop and change the way we feel. We do this by thinking thoughts that make us feel good. We cannot think good thoughts and feel bad. Our feelings are the result of our thoughts. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So here I go. I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.